next we are going to discuss about properties of electromagnetic waves electro magnetic waves first we will see the production of the electromagnetic waves we know that static electrons can produce the electric fields accelerating charged particles produces the magnetic fields but these two fields are not time variant but how to produce the electromagnetic wave neither the moving or not the steady but which one can produce electromagnetic waves let us take a charged particle which is making revolutions around nucleus with some frequency the frequency of the charged particle is uh, it's a natural frequency it tends to align like this <clears throat> we know that within the space if the charge is accelerating like this within the space electric field will produce and uh, within the space electric field is produced magnetic field produced within the circumference space electric field the arrow mark which shows the magnetic field so what we can understand within the space electric field is produced on the circumference of the revolutionary path the magnetic field is produced so what we can understand electric field and magnetic field both are perpendicular to each other with respect to the given plane and one more thing these two will move in the same phase so the continuous revolution of the charged particle along the circular path which is similar to the magnetic field creates the electric field within the spaces given that means we can say this is the magnetic field component of the given electric field these two will produce each other respectively while the charged particle is rotating with some frequency then electromagnetic waves combinedly produced and these electromagnetic waves according to the given structure it will travel to the longer distances this point is very very important that means electric field and magnetic field produces each other and travels in same phase whenever it travels in the same phase what we can understand is space produces the electric and the circumference produces the magnetic field and one more thing we can address here is the best example for the electromagnetic wave is light lights speed of light symbol is c so according to the researches did by the different scientists speed of light is is equal to 1 by under root mu not epsilon not mu not which is in the electric fields mu not which is in the magnetic fields epsilon not which is in the electric fields that means speed of light is directly or inversely proportional or dependent upon the permeability and permittivity of the different fields which are nothing but the electric field and magnetic fields now the electromagnetic equations speed speed of the electromagnetic wave in vacuum is given by like this and we can write this one as mu epsilon but 
mu is equal to mu naught mu mu r epsilon is equal to epsilon naught epsilon naught so what is mu permeability of the medium of the medium what is epsilon permittivity of the medium suppose it is mu not or epsilon not it is permeability of the free space epsilon not permittivity of the free space zero represent the free space means vacuum we can say that so speed of electromagnetic wave depends upon permeability of the medium and permittivity of the medium this permeability is magnetic permeability epsilon is electrostatic permittivity so speed of the electromagnetic wave which is dependent on mu and e that's why we can say light is the best example of electromagnetic wave now we are going to visualize the concept of propagation of electromagnetic wave next the property is visualization electromagnetic wave is a combination of electric wave and magnetic wave or electric fields and magnetic fields so how can you visualize this this is positive x axis <coughs> positive y axis positive z axis suppose on y axis magnetic wave electric wave or electric field is traveling along the positive y axis along z axis suppose if magnetic field is propagating along z axis the resultant of this e and b is nothing but electromagnetic wave this electromagnetic wave will travel along x axis positive x axis we can write the amplitude like this so what we can understand in the basics of these laws we said we have discussed we have seen that electric field and magnetic field both will have the same amplitude as well as they are in the phase perpendicular to each other to the propagation of the wave but they will be in the same phase keeping this point in mind if mag electric field is traveling along the y axis and magnetic field is traveling along the z axis then the propagation of electromagnetic field or electromagnetic wave is along the positive x axis this point is very very important so in this case then how will you find out the um, propagation vectors if it is the case we can write e y is equal to e not into sin kz minus omega t and bz is equal to b not into sin kz minus omega t this is the propagation vector of the electric field along positive y axis this is the propagation vector of the magnetic field along the z axis so if this is the case e not and b not are the amplitudes of the corresponding fields e not is amplitude of electric field electric field b not amplitude of magnetic field and we know that k is equal to 
propagation vector we can find out k is equal to 2 pi by lambda there was is omega is equal to angular frequency we can write ck so this is the expressions which are given and we can find out c is equal to e not by b not and correspondingly we will get 1 by under root mu not epsilon not this gives approximate value of 3 into 10 power 8 meters per second then we will get the speed of light in terms of the meters per second so this is the propagation of the electromagnetic waves along the directions of the vectors next one is pointing vector what is this pointing vector if suppose if the electromagnetic wave is like this with respect to amplitudes the amount of energy which is crossing in unit area of the electromagnetic field the amount of energy which is crossing in unit surface area of the electromagnetic wave this is the amount of energy which is crossing in unit surface area of the electromagnetic wave represented by s bar this s bar is called pointing vector means which is pointing the direction of the energy propagation in an electromagnetic field for s bar there is an equation 1 by mu naught into e bar cross b bar but we know that e and b are mutually perpendicular to each other Therefore, S bar is equal to E cross B is equal to EB sin theta sin 90 is equal to 1. That's why S bar is equal to EB by mu naught. Its SI unit is a watt per meter square. Or we can write joule per second per meter square or joule second minus 1 meter power minus 2. We can write like that also. So this is the a small introduction and a explanation about the pointing vector. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.